This part, which is the chain rule, is the last part. That's the one we'll be dealing with. And I'm sure after we've dealt with it, you will have no problem. I have prepared six examples to ensure that you understand it perfectly. But of course, if you're only looking at me whilst I'm doing them and you're not doing anything, you will not know anything. You'll think that you know it, but you'll not know anything. When the question comes, you'll be surprised. You'll see stars. So I do not want you to do that. So make sure that you are practicing and go together with me. In fact, I will also send you some pictures of the ones I want to practice so that you may practice together with me. All right, let's go. In our formula sheet, as you can see, we have our y and dy over dx under y. The very first one that you are seeing is x raised by n. In fact, it's ax raised by n. If you want to derive it, it will be easy. You will just have your n x to the power n minus 1. So in other words, you will have the derivative of it simple like that. But in this case, we are given y is equal to function of x raised by n. Now we can just use that because we do not know what is that function, what that function is. So we must first... Okay, what if this function is this x to the power n? Let's say we have x to the power n, everything raised by n. Can you see? So that means we need to first work out that function. Now, how do we do? We have a, a method or, can, or a way of doing that. Let me show you the way. The way of doing it is to first letting this function, which is f of x, to be u. Let u equal f of x. The main problem in this section is to select f of x or to select u. Now let me give you a trick. In this formula of yours, you can see the formula sheet under the part of y. That is your f of x. If any problem falls under that part, that means it's the one you will use as your u. Any of these ones. You should substitute u. If you can see the direct derivative of it, you should substitute it in the place of u. So you choose u in that way. All right, then let's start to derive. When you have this, you just derive it immediately. So du over dx, because this is u and x. So d over dx will equal f prime of x. It derived by f of x. Therefore, on this side, we will have y is equal to u to the power n. But now we don't need these square brackets because u is just one term. So we can just say u to the power n. From this, we can look for dy over du so we'll have n u to the power n minus one then that's when we will move to dy over dx now so du over dx should equal dy over du as you can see on the formula sheet what is dy over du n u n minus one what is du over dx? f prime of x. Now let us substitute in the place of u by the value of u. So we'll have n f prime of x f 
Now, why am I putting square brackets? It's because this u has an exponent. So when I substitute back that f of x, I need to have some square brackets so that I can cater for my exponent as well. Okay, this is example number one. I just derived a formula for you using the chain rule. Okay, let me rewrite it nicely. It's 2x minus 1 power 7. So in the place of n, we can put 7. f prime of x, let's derive. Remember, this is f prime of x. Inside we have f of x. So let's derive f of x to get f prime of x. So f of x obviously is this one. So f of x is 2x minus 1. The derivative of that is 2. Now we are here. Then we open our bracket. We retain f of x. And we just change the exponent to 6. So in other words, in fact, this can be 7 minus 1. So in other words, we'll have 14 into 2x minus 1 raised by that 6. This is the shortest way of doing this using that formula that we derive using the chain rule. But if the question says use the coach, I mean the chain rule, you must follow all these steps the long method yes you'll follow all these steps even though they look longer you have to follow them all right let's start now let's select our u let u equal what is inside the bracket which is 2x minus 1 therefore du over this is u and x so that means it's over dx shall give us 2 then we move to this side we say therefore y equals u raised by 7 dy over du then should equal 7 u raised by 6 and therefore dy over dx because now we found dy over du we found du over dx so we can multiply them just like here we know that du and du will cancel out and then we'll be left by dy over dx so this is my dy over du 7 u raised by 6 this is times, this is my d over dx, 2. Then in the place of u, I know what u equals to. So I'll have 2 times 7 being 14. Then in the place of u, I put the value for u, which is 2x minus 1. Then I retain the exponent. That is it. So that's how you do it. Now, let me remind you, remember I said that the trick is on selecting you. Now, how do you select you? Again, I'll say it again. I said that when you want to select you, you go to your formula sheet. You look from what you have, which one is in your formula sheet under Y. When you see it, that's the one that should be you okay that's it all right then let's move, let's move to example number three first things first you should change it into an exponential form so you have two minus x squared raised by one over three then after that you select your u so you will be what's inside the bracket so you will have let u equal 
2 minus x squared so you'll do this all the time guys all the time you will do this thing dx after selecting your u obviously you should take the derivative of it so the derivative will just be negative 2x to the power 2 minus 1 but of course now you know that it will just be negative 2x therefore your y should equal to come back to what you had there remember this is u so it will be u raised by 1 over 3 then dy over du because we have y and u so u will be underneath the line will be 1 over 3 u to the power 1 over 3 minus 1 okay if you one can say u over 3 raised by 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 1 minus 3 is negative 2 over 3 so now we are looking for dy over dx which is equal to now dy over du is this one then you put because u is equal to that in the place of u you can put the value of u then you have your negative 2x you can leave it like this it will be fine or, or you can simplify it further where you multiply there get negative 2 over 3 so that x can come to the front so any answer from here you can leave it here you can go further or can continue further you can continue as much as you want until you are satisfied or you could use a really simplified to the simplest form but we are not teaching simplification here so you don't really have to do all those things let's move to example number four so that is why then let u equal obviously when you're looking at this you can see this is not there but this can be derived easily so that will be your u then your du over dx will then be negative 2 Therefore, your y is equal 6e raised by u, which will remain when you find the derivative with respect to u, 6eu. But you have that. So now, therefore, when you want dy over dx, you will say d y over du times du over dx du and u it comes out and then only dy over dx <laughs> so this was dy over du this was multiplied by du over dx you can substitute by u back that is the value for u that is it that is it welcome back guys to our last example under the chain rule or a function of a function as you can see we have y is equal to lean tubed x so what does this mean as you are looking at this you can definitely see that there is no way in our formula sheet where we do have something of this nature so we need to simplify it and make it simple and make sure that it is easy for us to work with
this is what we will end up working with lean x all tube so that means it is indeed a chain rule that can be used to de to derive this one I'm sure you know most of these things. 1 over x, you definitely know. You know how to derive lean x. I'm sure you can look at your formula sheet and see how to derive lean x. Then we do have dy over du. We also have du over dx. So we can just substitute. In the place of u, by the value of u. Because it's u squared, so that means it's lean squared x. This will be the answer for this problem.